This is a high wire up three phase motor cable. Most motors have got nine wires, and the best way to sort these out the nine wires, which go in order one through nine, I usually start by grabbing wires four, five, and six. Four, five, and six is where I start off at. Put this in there. And I have put a little string on four, five, and six. Let's see. Five. Six. And four. Numbers four, five, and six. Twist them together. Get a wire nut. And you wire nut four, five, and six together. Next, you find one and seven numbers. One and seven. This is wire number one and seven. I've already grouped them together. One and seven. And I like to take one and seven and group it to black. Put a wire nut on that. Next, two and eight. Wires number two and eight. This is eight and two. I like to take it and put it to the red. This is three and nine wires. Three and nine. Those are going to go wire netted. To the white. Wire netted to the white. Okay. We got those. Connect the ground to the motor. Ground screw. Most motors have got a ground screw inside. Every once in a while you may have to put a ground screw in. Okay? Push those in. Now I've got my cable gland. done. Put the cover back on.
got it wired up. Last thing to do is put on the drive wheel. I like to give it about three eighths to uh, half an inch of spacing. ready to go. This end is ready to connect to a drive. 